Hey guys, Dream Projects here. This is one of my most fascinating topics in Python and one of my favorites. I mean, it's just like so mind blowing. This is the reason why I love Python. Just loved it, man. It's called input user. Hashtag input user. And by the way, hashtag just means like it's a statement. It's just telling the reader of this code what you're doing. Or like, yeah, it's just to look at what it's like to break up stuff in the pieces like this is that input user part. So yeah, hashtag input user. So input user is what we're doing today. One of my favorites. So let's do name equals. Let's start with this. So we have a variable or string. And then um, we go with this. We go, uh, we have to do input. Like, it shows it right over here when you're typing it. Input. It's a function. It's, and then it goes, um, enter your name. Okay? So, and then we want a colon there. Okay, so let's just put space. And then, what we're going to do is print. This is one of my most favorite parts. Print name plus actually it's gonna be even better this way hello plus name fascinating ain't it i'm pretty sure it is guess what it's gonna put there enter your name the you enter name let's say john hello john fascinating ain't it now that's actually i think how netflix or um like websites are made login websites are made with this to or sign ups you know how you sign up on a website so how it's made except it's not except it's way more complex because they have this file that they save all the user data to to make sure that you got the right password right account if the account even exists and stuff and just put a new account there it's fascinating oh love it Let's say uh, you wanted to do something maybe more um, uh, more advanced. Yeah, let's say you want to do something more advanced. So I made something like um, what a website that not really a website yet, but I'm still working on it. Post I'll post it on YouTube uh, when it finish and how to do it and stuff. But yeah, if you want to do a more advanced input user, even though we're just on the basics over here, I'll, I'll show you something in some input users with, um, uh, what do you call it? With if and else code. So let's go right into it, guys. So we start with. this okay let's say we want to do something like name or no not name we already use that or let's just go go ahead with the basics let's do name equals input or we already have what name equals up there so let's do um email id equals input enter your email and then we could do or we could do welcome let's just name our website welcome to oops welcome to python beta oops Print welcome to Python beta um, uh, user I I have no idea ID or something oh well, we'll ju let's just stick with that right now and then uh, 
Oh no, no. Welcome to B or welcome to Python. Let's just do that, okay? Okay, so enter your name, enter your email. Okay, so we can do password equals this is the the sign up page. Okay. Um we'll just do that. Um redirect or print we or oops redirecting to sign up page and then it just redirects you to a sign up page uh, enter your password in next right so squeeze it enter your password and it's more advanced to put conditions on password like have uh two symbols at least and minimum eight characters maximum 14 characters or something like something like that okay and then you uh like how they netflix makes their like, graphicals on their website is that's something else like the, the graphical of it okay it's not it's not really the the like the actual Python. It's just a module in it that makes it. It's more complicated. Not right now, okay? So yeah, over here, and then we'll do print. Congratulations. You have been successfully signed up and then let's print this or no we could do this actually we could do print hello plus name There. So welcome to Python. Redirecting the sign up page. Please enter your name. Say my name's John. Enter your email. John at gmail.com. Now there are ways to more advanced ways to put and it takes hours actually to do all to put um like oops, I forgot the code there. To put um conditions on passwords and stuff. So stop and run. So, John, John at gmail.com. Uh, John is good. Hello, John. Congratulations. You have been successfully signed up. So, you could do that. This is very important. I love it. I mean, this is just the basics. So, yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching it. That's all for now. So, thanks for watching.